Welcome aboard. Spectacular, isn't it? Surrounded by water in the middle of the Red Sea. Water is, of course, fundamental to human life. Without it, day-to-day -day living is impossible. Hi, I'm Jonathan, and join me as we set sail across three continents and uncover how the ways in which we use water can transform people's lives. The mountainous Kyrgyz Republic, with more than 40,000 rivers flowing through this territory. However, many people don't have a water supply in their homes. Often, there's no sewage system either. Thanks to essential investment, one million citizens will soon be connected to modern water and wastewater services. But in Morocco, the challenge isn't just access, it's scarcity. Here in the Saïs Plain, climate change is hitting hard. Unpredictable rains, frequent droughts, and farmers battling to survive. But we're finding solutions. Take this huge structure behind us. It's called a surge tank. And Hisham from the Saïs Water Conservation Project is going to explain how it works. Hisham. Look, Jonathan, this surge tank helps us to balance pressure, water pressure, and keeps the flow steady. You know, we bring water from dam, after heavy rains, of course, up to here. And from here, we can deliver water to farmers all over the plain of Saïs. And it helps conserve water? Exactly. By doing this and managing the water flow, we conserve our underground water resource for the future. These pipes are immense. They're part of an underground network that stretches for hundreds of kilometers and, as you can see, still expanding. This network directly supplies water to over 7,000 farmers. It's a lifeline to the Saïs Plain. The Bay of Qatar, one of the most beautiful places in the world where history meets nature. The area is becoming more and more popular. During peak tourist season, the port hosts up to five cruise ships a day, each with 5,000 passengers. And you can see why, with views like this. But problems persist with water supply. Despite all the recent upgrades, demand is still not being met, even on a domestic level. Let's chat to Milena, who's co-founder of this beautiful boutique hotel, Casa del Mare. Elena, tell me some of the challenges you face with water. Well, the main challenges regarding the water was the water access. Uh, in the past, we had a problem with uh, restrictions uh, and we had uh, the water access only a few hours a day. And even with the big tanks in the hotel, uh, we, we've been run, running out the water at some period of the day when the people are coming back in the hotel from the beach and having the showers. But things are improving? Yes, things are improving. I think that things are getting quite better. The people care more and uh, with uh, good investments, I think that we could be a really good model of sustainable tourism. We're back on the Red Sea, where water is not just a resource, it's a sanctuary. We're supporting projects that tackle pollution stop wastewater from entering the sea and promote sustainable tourism, both above, thank you, 
and below the surface.